Hi. Welcome back. Um, I'm just going to divide up this uh, container of plants here. Um, well, technically it's one plant at the moment, um, rather a large plant. Um, probably several, I don't know, maybe several hundred plants that's in there. I'm not going to keep them all, but what I'll do is go through and um, chop out some of the better ones um, and put them into rooting medium. Um, like I mentioned before in, um, in the other video, vent spots, all these containers here are vented, a um, couple of different types of vent spots, these two are, are fabric type, um, like I said they can be quite expensive um, if you're using a large number of them, this is um, I believe this is like a polypropylene um, polymer type vent spot, they all work pretty much the same, just stop on contamination from entering and allowing gas exchange um, inside the container, so, um, and like I said I use them vented containers for all my plants when I start to um, put them into media to develop roots. Just to, um, the heat, uh, the gas exchange also allows moisture to escape as well so the plants somewhat harden off um, while they're growing roots as well so it's not much, so much of a shock um, when I remove them out into um, the normal environment to grow out and harden off. Um, uh, this is just a petri dish wrapped up in aluminium foil clean the dish, wrap it up in foil and then stick it in the oven um, and cook it on around about 200 degrees Celsius for um, half an hour to an hour uh, and then in, let it cool down um, and it's all wrapped up so the dish is sterilised inside. Um, before I put it in here I just give it a quick spray with um, methylated spirits again um, just in case anything some settled on it. Um, and hopefully the dish inside is um, sterilised so we'll just open it up. These are two piece with a lid, just sits over the top. So, what we'll do is uh, get the instruments out to cool off a little bit before we move the plant. Alright, so this will be just to open up and remove our plant. As you can see in there, there's quite a number of plants. That a lot of them will be, I won't say no good, but fairly small. So I just basically take out a few of the larger plants here um, and get them to grow on. So I'll just simply grab it, large chunk in there. There we go, and I'll just chop it up from this point. Okay. Grabbing it again working around from underneath see some of the might have to clear some of the smaller little plant that's out of the way to get to some of the bigger ones it's pretty time consuming um, in the end I just lose patience with it and just start hacking at it and then um, find out what plants are there after I've finished chopping it up So I've removed quite a few plants. I'll, I'll put them in the container so I'm just not um, building up a big pile here. This, this is a fairly large clump of plant. Um, yep, dropping some. End up losing a few here and there, but there's quite a number of plants here to cope with, so I won't be worried too much about losing a few. So the tool is a bit of a washing the metho. Um, through picking out the larger ones at the moment. I tend to 
have each container of similar size plants. Not always possible, but um, I try and keep them around the same size. Similar size. This one's a little bit smaller, but I'm chucking in anyway. These have got the vent spots in them. Um, the other containers I used earlier had my homemade type of vent spot, spot with just the um, 3M um, micropore tape across the top of them. Um, these vent spots do last for quite a while. Um, you can pressure cook them, um, sterilise them with the uh, vent spot in place as long as the lids aren't on tight, otherwise it can tend to pop the vent spot off. Um, and all I do now. Once again, seal them up with the um, sealing film. Just really give it a good um, three layers around, maybe. Just to stop uh, contamination getting up through the screw thread there. That's um, another lot ready to go. 